Lordy, how'd your toilet break? I'm not going into the toilet. I'm going into show business. The Producers, directed by Susan Stroman. So, so he let me know, not you. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, directing uh, plays, old hat to you. You can do it in your sleep, right? <laughs> yes. But did you ever think that since you're first time director on the film, that eh, I don't think I know what I'm doing? Now, I have to say, I was so excited about it. It was more about learning something new. I, I had choreographed for film before, but of course this was the first time to direct. But it was taking familiar material and uh, opening up, you know, giving it uh, that's something that's a proscenium piece, giving it four walls and a sky. And, yeah. and in fact, I, I delighted about doing it. But you're the boss, though. You are in charge of everything. If this thing fails, it's your fault. Uh, well, that never, well, didn't you have like stress attacks or anything like that? Well, the thing is, that no matter even when I, that happens in the theater too. Oh, really? So okay. I have been, I have been through this before. You yes, know, being but in, in theater, you can have a bad night and you just fix it the next day. Uh, no, but that's true. In film, it's that's permanent. It. No, you are right. Because yeah. the thing is. Uh, it was very similar in pre-production and, and collaboration with the design team and working with the actors, of course. That was all the same. But then when the cameras came in, this was it. Yeah. And I knew that uh, the pressure of getting that scene and getting that yeah. shot was all important. And we don't have that pressure in the right. theater. And plus, when you mentioned camera, we, there's only one camera shot in, in on stage. It's we yeah. see everything. Absolutely. But in film, uh, you, you did you get to play around a bit? I mean, yes, no, I, I, yes. In the theater, uh, you see everything in a wide shot. The audience sees everything in a wide shot. But now I had the close up and the medium shot, and then I had the movement of the camera. Yeah. The camera actually acted like another dancer to me. You know, if the actors moved in eight counts from left and right, that camera had to move musically in eight counts from left to right. So it was actually a wonderful new tool for me. Well, since you, I mean, you're so familiar with the work though, when you were, I'm sure you had a storyboard or whatever with the close up, this job, but did you ever play around and say, yeah, maybe this talk didn't work, let's try it a different way? Or did... Well, the thing is, the comics are so good. You know, Nathan and Matthew and, and Will Farrell, I mean, I mean, they, the thing is, I did have everything planned out, but because they're so spontaneous and they're so funny, I had to give it a little breath and a little freedom to let yeah. them go. And in fact, uh, when I was editing, I had so many choices because of these fantastic comics that, that the editing process ended up being my favorite process of all. Now, you're my first interview of the day, so <laughs> can you give me any dirt on any other cast members so I can go in there? Is, what's the first <laughs> thing that popped in your mind when I said that? <laughs> No, there's no dirt. We had, oh, we had a lot on, of laughs. We had on, a lot of laughs. No, no, no. We had a lot of laughs. Our, our gag reel is going to be great. Really? <laughs> yes, it's going to be great. Yeah. No, there's no dirt. We okay. all got along great. Okay, uh, you're a liar, but thank you so much. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye. Nice to meet you.